What's up you guys? Welcome back. It's about time that I do a favorites video. It's been a hot minute since I've done one So I'm gonna cover some makeup favorites tons of hair stuff because I changed up my hair So I found a lot of things that I'm just obsessed with some lifestyle workout favorites skincare favorites So we're just gonna talk about all the things. So I hope you enjoy Please subscribe and let's just jump right in. So first and foremost, I'm actually gonna start with a Lip combo that I have been really loving. This is the Pillow Talk lipstick and lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I top it with the Laura Lee Los Angeles gloss in Rose Glimmer. So I will show you these all up close. They are so beautiful. I'm pretty sure I wear this combo in a recent video. Um, the lipstick and the lip liner match. And then this gloss has like a pinky shimmery color to it. It's so beautiful. Like it has some beige, some hot pink, almost like a blue reflect. And these three together just give the most beautiful like baby doll pink hue to the lips. It's so beautiful. So I've been loving this and I've been wearing it nonstop. Next, this is kind of random, but this is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Like if you've been on YouTube for a long time, this made its rounds years ago. It's just a face mist, but it's, ugh, there's something really special about it. I'm like almost out of mine. And the way that I use this isn't very typical. Maybe it is, I don't know. I don't like to put this on top of my makeup. I feel like I'm too oily for that. But this has like a skincare finisher at night, or the main way that I use it is before I go work out for the day. So I'll work out in the morning and then when I come back from the gym, I shower, do my, my full blown skincare routine, but I don't wanna waste like my skincare routine on my workout, you know what I mean? Like I don't wanna do my skincare before and then have to do it after. But I'm also like, I just feel like lackluster in the morning, I feel a little dry. So all I do before the gym is spray this all over my face and I feel so glowy. It's like, it, it feel, makes me feel like I put on my skin, like all of my skincare. So I've just been really loving it for that mainly, but also as like a skincare finisher after I'm done at night putting on all my products and stuff. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests for a skincare routine. I'm still kind of tweaking some things with my routine, so I will share that very soon. Um, I'm glad that you guys are interested because I've just been kind of diving a little bit deeper into that recently. Um, but this is one of the things that I've really been loving, especially in the morning for the gym. And then I just filmed a Q&A uh, where I did my makeup and answered questions. I don't know if that's gonna be out first or if this is gonna be out first, but somebody asked me like what my um, body skincare routine is. And I messaged her back and I was like, girl, I literally do nothing. <laughs> Cause honestly forever, like I really don't, like I, I in the shower, I just use basic like Dove body wash and like that's it. But recently, like I totally forgot about this. Um, I got this um, body oil, which I need to wash the bottle. It's got like fuzzies on it. I got this cause I saw somebody using it online and I thought, you know what, let's, let's give it a whirl. Cause it was kind of expensive. And I was like, let's just see what it's all about. It's amazing. So I have started incorporating this, but I don't use it every day just because I'm not used to like putting body lotion on me like every day. Like I just, I, I take care of my dog more than like my own body. This is what it looks like. I, I'm sure you've seen this around. I just got mine from Amazon. Um, I'm obsessed with this. It, I have like the driest feet, especially in the winter. And they like my heels just get so icky, gross and whatever. Um, this is amazing. And I'm especially excited to wear this all over my body in the summer. I would demonstrate right now, but I have a self tan that's developing, but it gives this like gorgeous glow and I can't wait to wear it in the summer with, with like a tank top and this just like is all shimmery not shimmery just very like glowy all over my body and it makes me look like you've been eating your healthy fats and your vegetables so um I really have been loving this and that's like the only thing I do fancy like with my <laughs> body skincare routine other than self tan like I will self tan randomly but yeah. So what I have to show you next is extremely random. I get asked about like birth control 
and babies and all that kind of stuff all the time. In my journey to realizing that I am indeed a Swifty, there's this song that she sings. I think it's in her song, Lavender Haze, which, oh my gosh, the acoustic version just came out and it's so good. I feel like it's better than the original. Um, but in it, the lyrics say, all they see is a one night or a wife. I feel that in my soul. Ruben and I were together for eight years before we got engaged. And within that entire eight years, the number one question I got asked all the time from everyone was, when are you guys gonna get married? And then as soon as we got married, it was, when are you having kids? As if that's like the only thing that someone has going for them. But yeah, of course in my Q&A, people are asking me about kids, asking me about babies, and I'm here to tell you that I'm still actively um, trying not to get pregnant. So um, I've never gone on birth control. I, like never, just because I've heard horror stories. I don't know one person that has had, that has had like a easy peasy lemon squeezy experience with it. So um, I just was too scared to ever go on it. So I did natural cycles. That's what I've been doing since, I guess it's been three years now that I've used natural cycles. It's basically, I just take my temperature and I track my period and I track my ovulation. So that leads me to this. These are these random ovulation tests that I got on Amazon and they, I <laughs> recently had to check and see if I was ovulating and take these tests and it helps to accurate, just give more information to the app to let me know and figure out like when my ovulation is between the LH test and between my temp my thermometer and like the, my temperature reading. So um, <laughs> random, but I just wanted to share it because I recently had to buy more um, because it was time to check my uh, ovulation. Yeah, I am not trying to get pregnant anytime soon. And these are very helpful. And if you are trying to get pregnant, this also helps you find out when you're ovulating so that you know what your fertile window is. So yeah, I just randomly wanted to include that as a favorite because I have loved those for three years and I don't think I've ever talked about the actual ovulation test. So yeah, random. One more random thing before I get into all of the hair stuff that I've been loving are, um, I wanted to share these shoes. So I talked about how I am on a running journey, just like learning how to run and I'm signing up for a half marathon. I'm really excited about it. So I have been training. Um, I run very, very slow, like walking pace basically. And I'm okay with it, but um, the number one thing that I was told is to get some good shoes. So I got these shoes. They are muddy because I took my dog for a walk at the park and I got mud on them, but whatever. I forgot the style of these, but they're from Hoka. It literally feels like I am walking on a cloud with these. I got the white color, but honestly, like the white is almost blue. They're so bright white. Um, but I love them. They're very, very comfortable. They're true to size. I think I got a size seven. It's made the process so much easier because anytime that I did try to run, it was really rough on my knees and my hips, just my joints in general. So that has really helped to um, just make it really comfortable and puts my body at ease. So I've been really loving those. I will link them down below because I don't remember the style, but yeah, those have been really helpful. I took out all of my hair extensions. This is all my hair and I have been playing with different ways on how to style it, different shampoos and hair care products to take care of it. And so I'm gonna go through those now. So one of the things that I don't think I've ever mentioned is that I struggle with dandruff. I did not know that that's what that was. I thought that it was like a buildup of dry shampoo until one day I got out of the shower and I had all of these flakes on my hair after I'd freshly styled it and I was like, I think that's just like a bunch of dandruff. So warning, I'm about to show you some pictures. This was my dandruff, fresh out of the shower. There's also one that was like two day hair, just so flaky. And like, if I ever just did this, it would just like fall out and get all flaky. So until I changed my hair care routine, I think getting my extensions out was really helpful because it, ugh, because I could actually like scrub my hair now. Like before I could not scrub my scalp because I had all of the hair in my, all of the tapins in my hair. So these are the things that I got for the dandruff. So the first thing was this Briogeo Scalp Revival. It's a charcoal shampoo. I have been loving this. This just kind of smells like a, kind of like a minty charcoal toothpaste, but it looks like this. And it is just, it's kind of wet cause it's in the shower, but it's just this like muddy, charcoal shampoo and it's very gritty and exfoliating so i use that at my scalp and then when i wash my hair with my regular shampoo i bought this shampoo brush off of amazon and so i go in and i 
brush and I do circular motions on my scalp when I'm washing my hair with regular shampoo. This is what this looks like. It's actually, it feels so good. I'm giving myself like a little massage. So between those two together, I like don't have any dandruff anymore. I will show you the after picture. This was the first time that I ever did this concoction and it's just amazing to me the difference because that first picture with the dandruff was the same type of scenario. It was fresh out of the shower after I styled it. So I am very impressed and very happy and I don't know why I waited so long. I think I just didn't really realize that what I was experiencing was dandruff. So um, yes, I'm obsessed with those things. I saw on TikTok this girl was talking about some shampoos that she used and just different products that she used to help grow her hair and help her hair um, and help prepare her hair. So I picked up some of them. So first up, we've got Amika the Cure. We've got the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, so it's only been a week, but I've been using these. Really love them, they smell amazing and so far so good. I will keep you updated on them because I've only used them like two times, three times now maybe. So I'll let you know, but that's new to my routine. She also recommended K18. So I bought this a little while ago. I actually didn't really love it, but you know what it was about this that I didn't like? was I had my hair extensions in at the time when I tried it and I feel like I just had too much hair in my head and hair that I didn't wanna use this fancy product on. Like I wanted to save this for like my hair. So now that I don't have my extensions in, I can actually use this the way that it's intended and it's amazing. So I do have the small size. What I ended up doing is I YouTube how to use this and it was from K18, the brand, and they had a video showing how to use it. It was like three pumps for your whole head but then in parentheses it says if you have the mini size then you need to triple that and I was like well that makes so much sense because on here it says begin with three pumps but it makes so much more sense so I do three pumps for this side three pumps for this side and it's perfect so what I do is I wash my hair in the shower I do not condition I get out how will dry my hair and make sure that it's very damp. Comb it through and then I do three pumps on this side, three pumps on this side, work it through the ends. I let it sit for five minutes before going in with any other leave-in products. It feels like so hydrated, moisturized. It feels so good. So I have been really loving this and um, I'll let you know like what happens with my hair. I mean, you'll see me here and I can update you guys as life goes on, but um, I think this is gonna be a great investment for um, just keeping my hair healthy, especially without having the extensions in. One more thing that I got um, last week when I was at the mall and when I bought the Amica stuff is this Aveda Damage Remedy. It's the daily hair repair. I got this because years ago when I didn't have hair extensions, I used this every time after I got out of the shower and it transformed my hair. It helped it grow so fast. Um, not necessarily grow fast, but just like not break. So I was like, you know what? Now that I've got my hair extensions out, let's get this again. Because again, this is like, I think 30 or $40 for this. Um, so I didn't want to waste it on my hair extensions. So anyway, I just, I bought this and I started using this again too. And I'm excited um, because the last time that I used this, I felt like my hair really um, grew fast, not necessarily grew fast because that's not, it, just, it feels like it's growing fast because it's not breaking off, but I just felt like my hair got longer and stayed long and thick and healthy. So I'm excited to just incorporate all of these good things into my hair routine and get my hair nice and long and healthy. And I feel like it is pretty long and healthy, especially for having hair extensions in for four years straight. Um, it just feels so good and refreshing and I just feel... I just, I, sh I feel free. One more styling product before I get into hair tools and things is the Pureology Weightless Volume Mousse. I started using this to give myself a little bit of volume at the root so that when I do like the rollers and everything, it just gives all of that body. So I started using a lot less than I did at first because I, I had never used mousse before. So it was very, it was a, definitely a learning curve with this stuff, but, um, yeah, I've been really liking it and I've noticed a difference. Like I can feel like I can shake up here and I can just feel it like, boom, it gets like very like voluminous up at the top. So I just, whoa. So I've just really been loving this. Um, and I've just been loving the new, my new hair routine. It's so much fun and I just, 
I love this style and everything. So how I get this style is after I've put in all of the products after the shower is I'll let it either air dry or I'll rough dry it with my air wrap. And then I'll go through with this attachment on my air wrap. There's some hair on here. I need to like clean this off, but I go in with the brush attachment on my air wrap and I just go through the sections and just dry it. And then I curl it under. Then I'll section my hair and I'll do Velcro rollers. So I got these on Amazon. Um, this is from the Kitsch brand and then I just got some clips here. I will link a video right up here where I do this whole routine for the first time. Um, I pretty much do it the exact same way except I took some of your tips and tricks and changed things so I no longer take the clip and put it on top of the roller, I put it underneath. That's made such a difference. I leave that in my hair. I curl everything under in the Velcro rollers and then I spray everything with hairspray. Let it sit for as long as I need. Today I ended up leaving it in for probably like two and a half to three hours and this is the result. Um, I've already like brushed through this and everything, but I've just been loving this hairstyle. I feel just, I don't know. It makes me feel very confident. <laughs> it's, I don't, I felt like I needed long hair to be confident. Like I didn't feel confident unless I had long hair. And so now just sporting my natural hair, no extensions, just this is what it is. I just feel, um, I just feel really good in my skin right now. And it's just. It's, I know it sounds so silly, hair is just hair, but I've actually had a lot of conversations with you guys about this and like your attachments with hair as well. And I'm glad that I'm not alone in like having those feelings towards hair. Cause like when I think of it and when I say it out loud, I kind of, I just feel kind of silly that I felt those things. But um, yeah, thank you for sharing your stories with me too about like your insecurity with hair and like wanting long hair and like all of the feelings attached to it. It's just very interesting. So that's my current hair care routine. It's been, really fun playing around trying new things and styling it differently and using new hair products and stuff it's just been really fun so so one last thing that i want to share is my miranda fry jewelry you guys know i'm obsessed with them i talk about them all the time um i do have a discount code for miranda fry i'm an affiliate so i do get um commission if you purchase through my link but i started wearing this old cuff i hope that they still have it on their website um, I will zoom in so you can see what this looks like, but I've been wearing this again recently and I've gotten three compliments so far in the last three days and it's just so cute. So the earring goes here. It's just a stud with a chain and that's a little cuff. So I'll link that down below. This is also Miranda Fry. And then on this ear, um, I have this dangly earring, which is also Miranda Fry. And then this cuff, I think is from Lily Clasp, I think. I'll try to find it, link it down below too. And then these rings, I've been wearing these a ton recently too. Both are also Miranda Fry. So I will link those down below. They did come out with some um, new stuff for their spring and, I think it's their spring and their summer collection. It might just be spring. Um, one of them is an anklet. I don't have it here with me right now, but I cannot wait until I can wear shorts outside and I can wear this anklet, wear it to the beach. I'm gonna feel so fancy. I haven't worn an anklet since, an uh, anklet? I have not worn an anklet since like middle school, I don't think. Um, but yeah, this is also from their new collection. It's just this pretty bracelet. So I've been wearing this nonstop too. So I will link those all down below in case you're curious and want to check them out. And again, don't forget about that discount code. Um, but yeah, I'll put all of that info down below so you can check it out in case you're curious. Oh, one last thing I almost forgot. I've been loving this Laura Mercier foundation. I totally forgot to mention this. I love this. I used this again uh, last week and I've been wearing it ever since. It's good. It's got a good medium coverage. I've been wearing a lot of like more sheer coverage foundations and that gives a more um, fuller coverage than what I'm used to, but it looks so like glowy, but not too wet looking. Like if you're oily, you could still wear this foundation. It's gorgeous. I have the shade Macadamia. I had it sitting here and totally forgot to mention it when I talked about makeup. Okay, that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what my favorites were. Please let me know down below in the comments what your favorite products were this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.